Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this On One Photo Raw 2024 tutorial, specifically how we can use Super Select AI to take a photo like this and turn it into something more like this. Let's get going. So once again, we begin in our catalog view and we're gonna click on edit. First thing we're gonna do is go over to the left and pick our Super Select AI tool. Now, as you move your mouse around the image, you'll notice that different things will apply in red. These reflect the different scenic elements within your photo or objects. This photo is pretty distinct. We have two distinct objects. We have our giraffe and we have our background. So the first thing we're going to do is sort of make our giraffe pop out a little bit. So we're going to click on the giraffe with our left mouse button. And doing that will give us a blue mask, which illustrates that it is indeed the giraffe that's selected and not the background. Next, we're going to right click. We're going to go through our many, many, many different effects layers to pick something that we like the look of. So you can pick whatever you like. But in this case, I'm going to go for maybe bleach bypass and strum. So that takes care of the giraffe. The next thing we're going to do is sort of take the background and make it kind of black and white. That should give us a good sort of punchy contrast between the background and our giraffe. Once again, I'm going to use the left mouse button to highlight our background blue, right click, and then sort of rack my way through all of these different settings. In this case, I might just go for the first one. I might go for Adele. And there we go, there's our giraffe. And if we go back and look at our previous image, we can see just how far we've come, how quickly and easily. It really didn't require much in the way of technical skill at all. But we're not quite done yet. What I would like to do is add a little bit of a vignette because we can add as many effects layers to any given object as we like. So if we sort of click once again on the background, we're gonna add a second effect and I'm gonna put on a vignette. I'm gonna go for a strong one. And here we go, we can see our image. And again, we can see before and after. Now, those of you with an exceptional keen eye might have noticed that as I was adding layer after layer, they were all piling up under the effects tab. Here we can see we've got our vignette got our black and white and if we click on that we can expand it and we can expand our bleach bypass as well. We can also undo anything that we've done. For example we can click here that will remove our black and white filter and indeed bleach bypass or vignette or by clicking on and off. This is a great way to sort of apply things uh, quickly and of course realize your mistake and undo it. However, you might not wish to undo it. You might simply wish to tune it, and you can. Here, under the Bleach Bypass option, we have various different settings. We can adjust the amount, contrast, brightness, and you can just sort of fiddle around with these until you get something that you like the look of. Again, let's make our vignette a little bit more severe. So I'm gonna go for even reduce the brightness, close it off a little bit, and yeah, that's kind of looking good. So that's my Super Select AI tutorial. I do hope you found it useful. And if you would like to try Super Select AI on any of your own photos, you can. And if you check out the description below, you'll find a link for your free on one Photo Raw 2024 trial. My name is Richard from Silent Peak. Have a great day. Bye bye.